Welcome to this new tutorial on vb.net. In today's tutorial, we will add simple login functionality to our application. And we will create an application as you can see on your screen. If we don't enter anything in these boxes, it will show us the enter username message box. If username is entered, then it will ask for the password and if both the informations are correct it will let us sign in into our application as you can see so let's get started create a new project in visual basic select windows and then finally windows forms application you can choose any name you like and I'll choose login pro VB and then click OK and this will create a solution for us with a default project in it first we need to design our forms this is our first form which will be a log login form I'll rename the name first and when you see this message just click yes now I want to change this text it's simple just go to the text property of this form and I'll change it to login pro and I don't want this minimize and maximize buttons here so just make minimize box and maximize box property to false and I want this form to appear in the center of the screen then set the start position to center screen so now if you run the application it will be in the center of the screen now we, the first thing we need to do is to add a logo and for that I will use a picture box control which you can find in a common controls panel and there it is now we will add an image to it just click on choose image local resource import and then go to the location where your image is in this case I'll select that one and click OK and as you can see it doesn't resize it itself so uh, the reason for that is the size mode currently is normal just change change to auto size and then you can see it will change it to correct size I want this logo to appear in the center of this form horizontally horizontally is in this direction so select the picture box go to format and then select center in form and horizontally and there we go now we will add a few controls on to this form first one label and then a text box Now I want to duplicate these two controls just select them press control key on your keyboard and then drag and that's about it and finally I will add two buttons press control key on your keyboard and drag it I want them to be in the center of this form just go to format center in screen horizontal Now we will set the properties of these controls. The first one, first starting with labels, make it the text property as username. Second one as password. The third one as sign in. Sign in. And finally exit we also need to set the name properties and I'll make it exit button sign in button username text box 
password text box. Now the first first we will add code to this exit button which will exit the application and we will use an application object and its exit method so application object with exit method there we, that's all we need just start the application and there we go clicking on exit button will exit our application as you can see now before I code this button I need an, the second form to add a second form just select the project this is solution this is project so select project then go to add and select Windows form and I will give I will choose a name as main form dot VB and click add and it will add it here the first thing I want to do is to remove this icon from here and as well as these minimize and maximize buttons so go to the properties window just make minimize box and maximize box property to false and then change the form the border style currently sizable to sizable tool window as you can see after that I will change this text to welcome and make the start position as center screen now we will add a few controls onto this screen the first one is a label control set the text property as welcome Ian Smith and I want to change the properties of the font just go to the font property group change the size to 10 make it bold and finally underline and I want to change the color of this font select the four color property and I'll change it to the dark red as you can see now to add an option I will use a picture box and choose an image local resource import and there we go and we will make the size more to auto size as you can see now I will duplicate this control just press control key on your keyboard and drag and then another one and now select all three of them and just press control key on your keyboard and drag it and there we go now finally we need to change these images import black and then green and then red and finally purple now save everything and go to login form sign in button click event the first thing we need to check whether these two boxes are text boxes are empty if they are empty show the message if username dot text equals to string dot empty and password if both of them are empty string dot empty then show message message box dot show 
username and password please enter username and password if username is empty just the username then show message please enter username and if password is empty only password then show message please enter password so now run the application and click sign in and it will show us please enter username and password but then it's also asking for username again and the password so the best option is once it reach here it should exit here so how it we can exit our code in the middle just return and that's about it in the same way and then finally return so what will happen if both of them are empty then it will show this message and finish this method when it reach return but before but before return was there it was showing all these three messages so let's get start the application again and you can see please enter the username and password and then you see it is not showing those the other two messages and if the username is is not empty then it will show the password or if the password is there and no username is there then it will ask for username as you can see one thing we need to do is to set the tab order for this form because if you see when it start with the password the cursor is in the password we want it here and when clicking on the tab button should take it here and then here and then finally to this exit button so let's set that tab order zero one two and finally three so now if you run it it will it's doing it correctly now now if we enter both username and password correctly then it should take us to our this form so currently it will just check for whether they are empty or not now if username dot text is equal to username and password dot text is equal to password you can give it any text in here of your choice then hide this form first this one and then show this one so me dot hide and then dim main form as new main form and main form dot show else if it's wrong then show message message box dot show username or password is incorrect so now let's run it and enter the details incorrectly currently username is wrong and username password is incorrect but as you can see it should remove them from here and put the cursor back in here so let's add that functionality to it username dot clear 
textbox.clear and then password textbox.text sorry dot clear and finally put the cursor in the username textbox so focus run it now put the wrong detail and it will show you this message and then clear the fields for you and put the pass, uh, cursor back into the username and if both the details are correct then it will sign us in it first hide this login form and then show us this form so hopefully you now know how to add simple login de form onto your application with this I finish this tutorial thanks for watching bye now